Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, September 14th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida, but virtually teaching this week in Reston, Virginia. Apple today released updates for Safari for macOS Catalina, macOS Big Sur, Apple Watch, iOS, iPad OS, and these updates are fixing two critical vulnerabilities that have already been exploited in the wild. Now, Safari, for example, only is affected by one of these vulnerabilities, the WebKit vulnerability. The other products are affected by both vulnerabilities. First vulnerability in core graphics may lead to arbitrary code execution if a crafted PDF is processed. The second, the WebKit vulnerability is triggered by visiting a malicious web page. Now, the WebKit vulnerability CVE 2021-3085-8 is attributed to an anonymous researcher. The Core Graphics vulnerability CVE 2021-3086-0 is attributed to the Citizen Lab. The Citizen Lab, of course, has been sort of uh, breaking these stories about the NSO group and its uh, Pegasus uh, tool. This uh, vulnerability is apparently related and the Citizen Lab has published a blog post with additional details about the malicious uh, PDFs that they have seen attack a phone owned by a Saudi activist. Use of this vulnerability has first been spotted by Citizen Lab in March. Now, uh, Citizen Lab has collaborated with Apple in fixing this vulnerability. And now, of course, with Apple releasing the update, we do get more s details from Citizen Lab about this particular event. So how critical is it that you are updating uh, your devices. Apple has acknowledged that both of these vulnerabilities, not just the PDF vulnerability, were actively exploited in the wild already. Apparently, both of these go back to NSO Group and Pegasus. Now, Pegasus was not widely used. It was used against uh, fairly specific targets. So you may feel like uh, you're unlikely to be affected by this particular exploit, uh, but still with all the details being released about these vulnerabilities now, what we have seen in the past is that vulnerabilities sort of start out as zero day and nation state vulnerabilities at some point, but then fairly quickly may trickle down and other attackers will pick up on them and uh, try to exploit them. Of course, we also have on Tuesday the big keynote from Apple with new devices being released, meaning that the next major version of iOS and macOS will likely be released within the next couple of weeks. But Apple isn't the only one battling uh, actively exploited vulnerabilities uh, today. Google also released an update for Google Chrome and among the 11 security fixes that come with this version of Google Chrome, there are two vulnerabilities that are already actively being exploited. According to the release notes that came with this update, and we are now at version 93.0.4577.82. This affects Windows, the Mac, and Linux. And what better to do with WordPress than to add an e-commerce side to it? That's at least the goal of WooCommerce, a fairly popular uh, WordPress extension to run e-commerce stores. Well, WooCommerce itself has its own extensions and one of them is a multi-currency plugin that allows you to essentially sell items in multiple currencies so the customer can pick what currency they want to pay in. Not only that, apparently the customer can also pick how to do the actual currency conversion. There is a CSV file that's being uploaded to the site in order to basically specify how much each item will cost in what currency. And uh, this file may be overwritten by any user with valid credentials to WooCommerce, which does include customers. 
Well, and that's it for today. Remember, it's Patch Tuesday, so maybe we'll uh, get uh, patches from Microsoft for more already exploited uh, vulnerabilities. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.